All right, today's video is all about what to do when she decides she wants to come back to you. You heard it right. We're getting into this because, let's face it, in dating, sometimes people bounce back into your life. Now, why does this happen? Well, there could be a bunch of reasons. Maybe she tried something new and it didn't quite pan out like she hoped. Or perhaps you've been leveling up in life, becoming more attractive, successful, whatever it may be, and now she's eyeing you again. But why do exes come back? It's important to understand why your ex might be returning before you decide how to handle it. Sometimes they come back because they want to rebuild the love you once had. They might say they've changed and still love you, hoping for another chance. Sometimes when exes come back, it's not because they want to get back together. Instead, they might want to fix things between you. Maybe when you broke up, it wasn't smooth and it left behind bad feelings or unresolved problems. Your ex might want to say sorry and clear up any misunderstandings. They might want to make things right and make peace with you. They could be looking for closure or just want to say they're sorry and ask for forgiveness. By reaching out, they're trying to heal old wounds and make things better between you. This can help both of you move on without carrying around old grudges. So, what's your move in this situation? Let's break it down into three options, depending on how much you're into her. All right, let's say she's trying to come back to you, but you weren't head over heels for her in the first place. In this case, you've got options one, two, or three to consider. But if you were really into her, well, one of these options is gonna stand out more. So let's get into it. First up, you could just welcome her back with open arms, like nothing ever happened. Sounds easy, right? Well, hold on, this is probably the worst move you could make, no kidding. It's like sending an invitation for disrespect to come knocking on your door. When you take her back without a second thought, it's like saying, Hey, my self-respect, it's on vacation. And you know what? She's gonna see that and think, awesome. I can do whatever I want, check out other options, and he'll still be here waiting for me. That is just a weak move. Seriously, just don't do it. I've seen this play out with my own friends. And let me tell you, it's a recipe for disaster. I've told them straight up. If you take her back, she's gonna pull the same stunt again. People, you see, learn from consequences. Remember when you were a kid and you did something naughty? You got a smack on the hand or a timeout, and you learned not to do it again. It's the same principle here. If a girl messes up, disappears, then comes waltzing back into your life without facing any consequences, what do you think is gonna happen? Yep, you guessed it. She'll repeat the same behavior, creating drama, causing headaches, and leaving you scratching your head, wondering where you went wrong. But here's the thing, many of you are so needy. You consume all this advice, but when it comes down to it, you throw it out the window the minute a girl gives you a sob story and says she's sorry. You forget about having options, about having an abundance mindset. Instead, you welcome her back with open arms because she throws out a half-hearted apology. But where are your other options? Where's your self-respect? Let me break it down for you. If you're truly a high-value guy with options, you're not going to just take her back like that. She has to earn her spot back in your life. There need to be some tests, some hoops she's got to jump through. So, mark my words, I'm telling you straight up, don't even think about doing this. It's a road that leads nowhere good. When a girl comes back after causing trouble and leaving you, there has to be consequences. You get to choose what those consequences are. Got it? Option one, you lay down the law. If she acts up, leaves, then tries to waltz back in, she's got to face some consequences. If you let her off the hook, mark my words, like I said, she'll do it again. And guess what? Your life's gonna be even more miserable. Now, option two, keep things strictly friends with benefits. This is a good choice if you weren't head over heels for her. You liked her a bit, sure, but nothing too crazy. So you keep it casual, but she's still gotta make it up to you. She's gotta show she's sorry, she has to make amends. When she sees you standing your ground, she'll respect you more for it. Just being alpha won't cut it. No. And don't even think of holding her back if she wants to leave again. You have to let her go and wait for her to come back. That's when she'll start to see things your way. You have to show her, I ain't afraid to lose you. That's when she'll start to submit to you. Remember, this is especially for those girls who didn't quite knock your socks off. You're not particularly in love with them. But let's just say you like them. Then, we're talking about friends with benefits. Even with this, she's got to still face the music, feel the consequences of her actions. After you've set the boundaries, it's very important not to shower her with all your attention like before. Your time is precious, so it's time to dial it back. Now, what should you do? 
You're gonna keep your distance. See her once a week, maybe skip a week here and there, or even two. But hey, don't turn into an ice cube, all right? When you're together, make sure it's a blast. But remember, you've already set the ground rules. You've already made her face the consequences. You've metaphorically burned her hand, but you're still gonna ease back on the attention. You're not just dishing out consequences for the fun of it. You're making a statement about your worth and demanding the respect you deserve. It's not about being cold-hearted. It's about standing firm and letting her know that you won't be taken for granted. So like I said, keep your distance, enjoy your time together, but never forget that you're the one calling the shots. Too many guys let a girl walk out and then welcome her back with open arms, handing her the prize like it's nothing, but not you. You're making her work for it, and trust me, she'll respect you more for it. Why? By the time you're done, she will understand you're not playing games. You're standing by your principles and setting the standard for how you expect to be treated. So keep those standards high, stick to your guns, and let her know that you won't settle for anything less than what you deserve. So keep this in mind and don't let her waltz back in and take over your life. Make her earn her place, and in doing so, you'll not only assert your worth, but also gain her respect. It's a win-win situation, my friend. All right, guys. Let's talk about the third option, especially for those of you who were really into the girl. It's tough, I know, but hear me out. Don't take her back. Yeah, it's gonna sting. It's gonna feel like swallowing a bitter pill. I've had guys in consultations struggle with this, blocking the girl they were really into. Why? Because they crave that feeling again, that moment they shared. But here's the thing, fellas. If she leaves and comes back, and you were really into her, don't let her back in. Let her feel the weight of her actions, the consequences of her choices. She made you suffer, right? She put you through pain. Now it's time for her to feel it too. Don't give in to the temptation of taking her back just because you miss her. Trust me, it's not worth it. If you let her back in, those feelings will resurface. You'll be right back where you started, stuck in the same cycle of BS and games. When times get tough, it's easy to feel like you're closer to someone. Adversity has this weird way of making you bond. But let's face it, those feelings aren't built to last. They're like a shooting star, bright and beautiful for a moment. But then they fade away into the darkness. So if you're really into her, don't fall for the trap of taking her back. I know, it's gonna be hard. You'll miss those sweet kisses, those late night heart to hearts. But trust me, sacrificing your self-respect just isn't worth it. You deserve someone who values you, who's there for you through thick and thin, not just when it's convenient for them. Don't let her saunter back into your life like nothing ever happened. She had her shot, and she blew it. Now it's time for you to move on and find someone who truly appreciates you for who you are. You've got to keep that abundance mindset going strong. Keep pushing forward. Keep your eyes peeled for someone who's worthy of your time and affection. And trust me, there's lots of them. If you're not feeling like talking to your ex, that's okay. You have the right to decide if you want to communicate with them or not. You can block their number, unfriend them on social media, or just not respond to their messages. You don't owe them anything. Remember, the relationship ended for a reason. It's important to focus on moving forward with your life instead of dwelling on the past. Putting your energy into your future can help you heal and grow. So don't feel guilty about putting some distance between you and your ex. It's all about taking care of yourself and doing what's best for your well-being. You're worth more than being someone's backup plan. You deserve someone who sees your value even when the going gets tough. So hold your head high, keep your standards sky high, and don't settle for anything less than what you deserve. And hey, if you're feeling down about it, just know that there are plenty of fish in the sea. It might take some time, but eventually you'll find someone who makes you feel like you're walking on air. So chin up and remember not to lose yourself worth giving a second chance that could leave you very broken again. All right, guys, we've come to the end of this video and if you enjoyed it, do well to click on the like and subscribe buttons. Don't forget to check other videos on our playlist. We've got some amazing contents for you. See you in our next video.